Our time now is 6.15 and back now with the countdown to sequestration. And at this point, we are no longer counting days, but hours. And as we mentioned, the president is meeting with congressional leaders at the White House today. Most members of Congress have gone home to their districts, and that includes Congressman Bobby Scott from Newport News. He joins us now. He's up early this morning outside his office. And thank you for joining us this morning, Congressman Scott. Good morning, Don. How are you? Doing very well. Coffee's kicking in. Can't complain. All right. Now, Congressman Scott, you were with the president at the shipyard on Tuesday. What do you know about his thoughts going into this meeting with leadership today? Well, the problem that we have now is the size of the sequester is so huge. There's really no alternative to the sequester. $1.2 trillion. You can't cut that out of the budget uh, any intelligent kind of way. We're already on non-defense discretionary spending at the lowest point we've been as a percentage of GDP since, uh, since before Medicare. And so we've already cut about as much as we can. Another $1.2 trillion. People say, well, if you do it rather than mindless across the board, if you did it more intelligently and deliberately, it would make better sense. You can't make $1.2 trillion in cuts make sense. And so if, you, if you're not going to have new revenues, if you're not going to have new revenues to help uh, uh, achieve a $1.2 trillion deficit reduction, then the mindless, painful, uh, across the board uh, sequester is about the only way to do it. The, the, the problem we've gotten into over the years is that people think that uh, you can cut taxes and it doesn't have any effect on the budget. January 1st, we cut taxes $3.9 trillion. We're going to pay for about $1.2 trillion in the sequester. Well, if we cut taxes a little less, we wouldn't have to worry about the sequester, and that's really what we're paying for right now. So, Congressman, you think the president is content to let the sequester kick in and wait till the Republicans give in or give to the point of allowing some revenue increases, some more tax increases? Well, well you said he, he's, he's um, uh, uh, letting the sequester go into effect. really have no choice. The sequester goes into effect unless you come up with alternatives. Uh, the alternatives are worse. Uh, if you try to fix it, I mean, I was at a town hall meeting where, where one lady was afraid that her Social Security might get cut. Well, the sequester protects Social Security. If we get into a fix, we might actually have to cut Social Security in order to achieve the $1.2 trillion. So, Cut Congressman, uh, we have a few seconds left. You wanted to mention something about a Head Start program that you're visiting today? Well, well Head Start uh, is, is obviously one of the programs to be cut. I'll be reading uh, to our children as, as part of a National Reading Day program uh, this morning at 930. And we'll be following that visit and the progress on the sequester. Hopefully there will be some to talk about. Congressman Bobby Scott of the 3rd District, thank you very thank you. much. Thank you, Don.